if you have people that are in a position to make a decision relative to an applicant, and it's not limited to the decision of yes or no, okay, it could be underwriters, it could be appraisers, it could be anyone who could influence, okay, something related to the application, terms, okay, pricing, okay, all of that's included. And I'll give you a laundry list here in just a moment. If somebody has that sort of influence, decision-making or related influence on the application, okay, the rule is they cannot have access to the restricted data, the business ownership status, and the demographic information. Now, could they have uh, uh, access to the principal owners? Yes. Okay. So if we're talking just solely about the model form, technically they can know how many principal owners there are but they can't know the ownership status question, the answers to that, or they and they cannot know the uh, demographic information associated with the principal owner. So that's the restricted data. So the general rule is they can't have access to it. Okay. Now, there's going to be an exception that we're going to get to a little bit later on here. But one of the misconceptions that's come up in discussion about this topic is that there are some out there that believe that the firewall applies or doesn't apply to the institution as a whole, okay? So there are some other, oh, well, the firewall doesn't apply to us based on whatever and whatever. And we're gonna debunk some of that here in a moment. Or the firewall does apply to us. It's not a financial institution firewall. It's an individual to individual firewall. In other words, when I get done with this section, what your takeaway hopefully is gonna be is that you're gonna have to write a story. Now, the regulation doesn't state it this way, but this is what I expect that that examiners and auditors are gonna wanna see. How did you determine on your team who is subject to and who is not subject to the firewall? Okay. And yes, I know there are some of you listening that, that, that know a little more about this and you're going, well, we've already determined that everybody on our team is, is exempt from the firewall. So if everybody on our team is exempt from the firewall, then it doesn't apply to us, right? Yeah, I get it. Okay. You can get there. Okay. But not everybody can. Okay? In fact, most can't. Most are going to have some people on their team that are gonna have to be firewalled because they won't meet the exemption. And so you're gonna have to tell that story. Here's who's subject to, here are the people who are exempt from the firewall because they meet the criteria. Again, it's on an individual by individual basis. Now we'll get into groups later. There is ways that we're gonna be able to make this more efficient, but again, it comes down to, we have to restrict access to restricted data. 